Hello, today I'm gonna talk about my struggle to learn American English and to pronounce it properly, even in spite of the fact that I have been here since I was 18 and I'm already 46, I still try to improve my accent. And it's not so easy as some may think, because for example, I'm a Polish person and vast majority of Polish people cannot hear American English short U and short O. So we have to approximate. We have to do it mechanically with our jaws, with our mouth. And the way to do it, if you cannot hear a short O or short U, is very simple. You know, it's the same as, for example, Polish short U or short O. O, O, except that your jaw, your lower jaw, your mandible has to drop. It has to drop when you pronounce it. So, for example, let's uh, see if I can do it. O, 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 and you have to keep your jaw relaxed. You cannot tense it. You cannot force it. So once again, O, 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 and now you, O, 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 O. And now you can try to do it by, you know, pronouncing certain words. Let's say in my case, a word in Polish and a word in English and switching in between. So let's say, uh, let's say, uh, what word in Polish? Kot, Polish for a cat. So, uh, kot and kot, kot you know, uh, for a small bed in English. So, cot, 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 cot. And let's say Polish word cutter for a small boat and a relatively small boat and a vessel and a English word for, you know, cutting yourself. So, cutter, cut, 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 cutter, cut. And I am definitely not some linguistic genius. You know, I'm gonna remind you towards the end where I peg myself when it comes to the curve, you know, showing if people are gifted, extremely gifted, average, below average, or anti-gifted or extremely anti-gifted. I am definitely below average and I consider myself anti-gifted when it comes to foreign languages. However, you know, with hard work, many things, not everything, many things are possible. And one word to the wise, remember, you know, knowledge is not power, money and politics are power. However, knowledge is a key, it's like a tool, and more sophisticated and more useful tool you obtain, more you can achieve in your life. So, uh, you know, but do not believe that knowledge is power because that belief got actually some people in jail because they went to college, they got their degree, they couldn't get a lot of money, and they got frustrated and they committed fraud. So knowledge is not power. However, knowledge is a tool and more sophisticated tool you have. So, you know, still, even though knowledge is not power, it still pays to learn. So learning is good. And see you next time.